Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the REI Network podcast with me, Gavin Timms. Um, I am coming live right now from the UK, from the United Kingdom, Great Britain. Uh, I am back at my parents' house. It's nearly been three years. Can you believe that? I normally travel here at least twice a year. Um, and this is, again, my first time in nearly three years, which is insane. The time has gone so quickly, um, obviously over COVID and the travel restrictions. And I finally made it. I'm here and still making things happen. So uh, I wanted to do an episode. Uh, the, again, this is my first one. Um, from the UK in a while and I wanted to do it on how to run a business from abroad okay so if you're outside of the country what are the things that you need to do to be able to travel on your schedule what things do you need what things do you need in place to be able to operate and I want to talk about the things that I need to do and the way that you can build your business in exactly the same way now hopefully my internet is good hopefully everyone can hear me and I'm not skipping I can't do a whole lot about that and that is sometimes the worry I don't have my main camera with me um, so it is a little uh, fuzzy than normal, but these are things you can't have everything, right? You can't you can't bring all your equipment, uh, but you still have to make things happen. So first thing is when I'm going is obviously my phone, right? So I'm on my US phone. I'm with Verizon, and when I travel outside the country, especially in the UK, and I'm sure you can bolt on other countries, I have to pay ten dollars a day. Um, to operate my phone unlimited so that means i have internet i can text i can call everything and it's ten dollars a day so i make sure that that is on my account that automatically activates when i'm outside of the country um and then the phone immediately works so here it's not charging you but when you're here it's on my account like i said it kicks straight in so make sure that i have to have my phone available and then i have my laptop which i'm talking to you on right now uh, recording this uh, this podcast, and I make sure that I have internet. Now, if I have them things, I can now literally operate anywhere in the world. I have to be obviously mindful of the time zone. So when I do my coaching calls uh, in my group, for instance, they're 11 a.m. Eastern time, so I need to be doing them at 4 p.m. in the UK. Um, so I do have to change uh, the time zone and obviously be mindful of that, just like you would be if you were talking to your sellers and um you know making sure they're not asleep it's not in the middle of the night now that's common sense but sometimes you forget and you'll do these things so once you have your phone and your laptop um you're pretty much good to go you have wi-fi you can go to coffee shops or hotels or wherever you are and get on that that's that's literally what you need to build uh, sorry to be able to operate a virtual business and then depending on then how much do you actually want to work now one of the most amazing things but frustrating things when I travel especially to the UK is I work probably uh, an hour and 30 minutes yesterday I might do two hours today Uh, I will then probably do an hour tomorrow and then take the rest of the week off so let's say I'm going to be working six hours this week I still feel that I accomplish just as much as if I'm working a 10-hour day at home Okay, and it's be down to because I prioritize my time. So when I have a limited time, I prioritize my tasks and I have to hit them in order to be able to complete them and move forward. So I'm not having thinking, wasting space of what am I going to do? What should I do next? What do I need to create? Should I work on this? Should I work on that? I have a very strict plan of these are the things I need to do in this time window. I get them done. It's very quickly efficient. And then I'm still moving forward rather than having all the time in the world sitting there for 10 hours and going, well, did I actually do anything today? Which happens a lot to all entrepreneurs. Okay. So actually, I am more efficient by being here because of that prioritizing. So, what I would say to you in watching this, if you're not traveling, is try and get in that mindset. It's the same thing if you're working your day to day job, you're doing your W 2, you have limited time where you have to make sure that the time that you spend, whether it's after you put the kids to bed, when you in your lunch break, when you get off work, that that time is spent on a high dollar an hour activity trying to make money in this business. OK, um, it's exactly the same thing, because, again, when you're traveling, limited times limited, just like it is in your job. So prioritizing is going to be key time management, making sure that you've got your tasks and you understand what you're going to be doing next. So there are just a few things that I would definitely look at immediately then. As you build this out, when I, I've always traveled in real estate since I got in, 
uh, into it. I went virtual because I'm from England. And if I need to come home, spend time here, I need to be operating from anywhere. So that's where the phone, the laptop, and I would still work a lot more than I used to when coming to the UK. I'd still do probably four, five, six hours a day, uh, even sometimes in the evenings. Sometimes when I was doing uh, marketing, I would have to get up at two, three in the morning, especially when I was marketing in Phoenix, because they'd be getting off at six o'clock in the afternoon uh, after work. And I've got to get up at two, three in the morning to have a conversation about their property. So sometimes you have to do what you got to do. That's not all the time, but you do have to dig in sometimes and do the things that you don't want if you're going to be successful, right? It's all about taking chances. Uh, it's all about failing forward. Um, if you haven't failed yet, then you haven't done enough, right? Um, because it's going to happen. Um, I had a conversation with my brother and a few friends. We went out last night for, for some for some dinner and uh, we're having this conversation because obviously they're all in W2 jobs, uh, most of them. And we're talking about kind of the entrepreneur and the things that I would do, the risks that I would take, the, the way that I calculate things, um, the way that I believe that everything's going to work when I go into it at 100%. And if it doesn't, I pivot and change. Um, and sometimes you've got to get that mindset right. And it was and it was another eye opener having discussions with them. And the way that I see it um, is is completely different, right? They're going up the chain in their jobs and there's nothing wrong with that. But you're always working for the higher person. You're always working for the boss. You're always making the company money. You're not making your money. And um, and it was just a, a couple of things like we went heavily into flipping. I've, I've, I've talked about this uh, last year. It was a mistake and it was a mistake. My business plan was on point. It was great. I wouldn't change it today. The bit that I would change is is looking maybe on the negative. What if it doesn't go right? What if the contractor doesn't work out? What if they leave? What if you pay them and they don't do the work properly and you have to get it redone? What if the inventory has not been checked? Uh, and, and logged in properly? What if things are going from different houses to the other and not being logged? What about the books? Who's going to run that? So all of these things that I could have done better that took a lot of time. And I was telling them, even though we made money in flips, we did okay in flips, but the opportunity cost that I bought the whole team away from because we were in five, six, seven flips, then my whole wholesale team had to get involved to get them over the line. And then obviously the wholesaling starts to go down. So you can see how that works because you don't have the right team members in place. I thought we could do it. I still think we're going to go back and do it because it's not done. We made money again, but the opportunity costs that were lost were much higher than what we made by staying in our lane, doing what we do. OK, and, and, and doing it better. And it came down literally to team members, some some standard uh, operating procedures that we didn't follow. And then obviously the knock on effect. So I was kind of sharing this and I could see like, yeah, I thought opportunity cost last year was about 300 grand. And you can just see them going like, what? Like that's not just so everyone's listening. That's not 300 grand that I lost. It was just from doing a different thing. Uh, it, it cost me an opportunities if I would have stayed where I was, just like when you guys are watching going, well, I do five wholesale deals a month and I want to go and do creative finance. Great. And then you start doing three wholesale deals a month and two creative finance. So you've not actually got anywhere right now. You've learned a new strategy, but you've not built on that. So you've actually gone, well, hold on. My creative finance isn't that good. I got 200 a month. It's the long play, but I'm losing two wholesale deals at 15. I'm losing 30 grand a month there. OK, and that wouldn't be where you've then built that right unless that's what you wanted to do. So you should be going, well, I'm still going to do five and I'm going to do creative to get up to seven, eight, nine deals a month. Right. So having that team built out in order to be able to do that. So when again, when back we're out of the country and traveling, <coughs> excuse me, what the good thing is, is that we can use uh, virtual assistants. So my VAs. Rod, my lead VA, runs all my marketing. So they are like literally a marketing machine spitting out leads daily. They're coming in for the team. So I need to make sure that I double check. Have we got leads coming in? Yes, we have. Uh, we've also got them people on the phone. I've actually, from the UK, just hired an acquisition manager. Um, we're just finalizing the details now. She's going to be starting in a couple of days. And again, done from the UK. Why? Phone laptop phone laptop remember if you're not going to see the house you are now virtual that is it the only thing that's stopping you is that if you're physically not going to go in that property you can work from anywhere you just have to get and watch the time zone make sure you're accessible you have your phone and things like that 
And as you build more systems out, you can be more hands off. So even the time when I say I'm doing now in 30 minutes to two hours, it's probably literally 10 minutes on real estate and it's the rest on coaching. Uh, just some group stuff that I do, obviously quieting that down uh, while I'm traveling. Um, and you can see then, you know, how, how that plays out. So having your acquisition, your disposition, your business partners, your VAs, your marketing, everything happening in scale so you can actually run a business where you work on it and not in it. You can see then the ability to be able to travel. Now, if you're in that seat of you're in acquisition, you're in probably one of the most important positions in the business because you're acquiring property. That is the start to making money. Now, you can still do it. You've just got to, like I told you, you just have to make sure that your time is, is set aside. You, even if it's three, four, five hours where you can pound the phone, still do your thing, still make your offers, still do your follow up, still lock up deals. All that can be done outside of the country. Uh, absolutely. One hundred thousand percent. One, because I've done it. Two, I still do it. Three, a lot of other people do it. So you can do it as well. So there is no, well, I can't travel. The only reason you can't travel in this business is if you are running every appointment, seeing every house, taking pictures, showing it to buyers, then yes, you can't leave. Because guess what? When we talk about opportunity costs, you leave, okay? You leave and go to, let's say, um, on vacation for two weeks, you didn't make any money. Because the way that you've built the business is not wrong. You just need to understand that. So there's a difference when we come into the business on a virtual level, we create a vision, right? We talk about this a lot, creating a vision for your life and building a business around it. Now, there's one thing I will tell you, really start to harp on and, and add on to this, is if you have family members, you're a family of just a couple of you or you've got kids, whatever, depending on age, make sure everyone is on the same playing field or the same mindset or the same plan as you in terms of that vision do not do the mistake that i made i went and created a vision that i thought was right for us but it was right for me i just assumed you never assume in this business make sure that you build the vision together and then once you have the vision together you know where you both stand and then you can dig in create a business around it and then have an exit plan to get out of the business now i'm not saying i hate the word hustle but sometimes that's what you got to do you got to work hard early on give yourself six months six months to exit the business if you work hard enough you can absolutely do it even in a year whatever you want target wise exit the business put the things in place so you can then start wearing different hats exiting putting people in place once you have everyone in place now you're working on the business not in the business which then opens everything up to travel more ventures uh with more jvs more going into more markets okay there's nothing crazy to me when when people say oh i'm so busy and making great money but i'm gonna go and open up a new market and it's like that is the most insane thing that i've ever heard why because you don't have any time if you take on more things you just get busier you're getting further away from the target of exiting the business and working on it and not in it so you have to put the systems in place and then you go again and duplicate okay the reason i have the ability to build marketing any single market and generate leads is because um is because i have the systems i can do it anywhere whether it's in hawaii maui whether it's in san francisco california louisiana georgia it doesn't matter where it is i will be able to do that because i have the systems i have the proven system to be able to do it and that's what you're going to do once you have it built in one you're then going to duplicate maybe another acquisition maybe another business partner on the ground maybe a acquisition disposition maybe a closing coordinator that's going to run them all maybe your disposition can run multiple markets depending on what that vision is and what you're trying to create is how you're going to build that around it to get where you're going right and it's insane to me that you don't that people don't have that plan because all you're doing is swapping a job for a job and that's what you're doing okay you're leaving one job to go into another job now this job in real estate makes you more money than your old job yeah well that doesn't mean you're happier what what are the goals is it to spend more time with the family is it to travel is it you're a workaholic and you love it is it you love going on appointments all of them things are right answers okay but it's about your answers and then you creating it around that okay that is gonna be um the key so and that's what i've been able to do um joe said to me yesterday we had a conversation how long are you staying in the uk you're going to do a couple of weeks a couple of months because it doesn't matter that's that's the reality 
it doesn't actually matter. Now I'm going to be doing 12 days, and then I go to St. Louis, and then I'm back in Savannah, and I'll be off to Phoenix, I'll be off to Florida. Okay, I got trips booked, but it doesn't matter. If I say I'm coming home for six months, I can operate from here. Now, obviously, I'm going to be, again, watching that time zone, working more evenings than mornings, but still getting the job done. All right. Um, and that is is what it's about. So don't overcomplicate it. The systems will work from the UK. OK, uh, you can still use your VAs. You can still manage everything and make things happen. So let me know what you think. Hopefully this helps. Have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll get to them. I'll answer them and um, I will see you on the next one. But again, working abroad is the best. Prioritizing your time, you'll be more efficient. You're going to be happier because you're at the beach, you're seeing family. You're traveling, you're in mountains. I don't know, whatever you want to do, it's, it's an absolute must. So go ahead, do me a favor. This is what we need to do. Make sure you like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Okay, if you need any of my downloads, go to reinetwork.com slash downloads, reinetwork.com slash downloads, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, guys, thanks. Bye-bye.